to this iconography exhibit here at the Gallery on the Poly. Uh, my name is Father Damien Higgins. I'm a priest of the Ukrainian Catholic Church. We have a mission here on Kalani Anioli Highway uh, behind Holy Trinity Church. And for the last, uh, actually for the last 10 years, uh, I have been working with a fair number of 60, 70, 80 students over these 10 years who um, have all been practicing the uh, method of Byzantine iconography in the egg tempera method. As you can see, we have a whole number of, of different icons that will be on display here at the Gallery on the Poly at the Unitarian Church. Uh, we found that this was the perfect time of year, thanks to the welcome of Norma here at the Gallery, to present a iconography gallery that emphasizes that mystery that is celebrated at Christmas of the Incarnation a God who takes flesh. And so iconography is an expression of the Christian theology that the material world has the capacity to convey immaterial truths and realities. And so each icon, as it were, is an expression of this mystery of incarnation. Here behind me is a, a recently commissioned work of Father Damien, Saint Damien of Molokai, a recently canonized uh, saint in the Roman Catholic Church. And uh, while he is, a, in a sense, a modern subject matter, he expresses a tradition, he's expressed in a traditional Byzantine manner where there's no shadows, he's full of light, the, uh, a person who has become Christified, as it were, filled with that light of Christ, uh, two children who, uh, this is actually taken from a photograph, two children that were brought to Molokai with leprosy, who are in a sense under his protection, the emblem of the Sacred Heart Fathers, the community that he belonged to, and Mother Marianne Cope, who was uh, essentially instrumental in his work with the lepers, and of course, one of the churches that he built there in Molokai, kind of in a, in a shadowed image in the background in deep blue. Uh, each of the icons here is meant to express the same reality, that these are beings that now dwell in heavenly light. So there's no darkness, no shadow. There are only two dimensions to an iconographic figure. Uh, we don't see their backside, and, and there's no shadow created by their form, so they may appear somewhat flat, and yet at the same time, the notion is, is that light is coming forth from them. They are beings that have become filled with the light of Christ, and that is true whether we're depicting St. Damien, or the face of Christ himself, or one of the holy apostles here, St. Andrew, we also have some work done by a copper artist, Surya Kumar. And here again, sort of in a Byzantine style, he's presented the Holy Mother of God holding the Christ child. So that in this gallery, you will have the opportunity to experience uh, what it is that we mean uh, 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 by Byzantine iconography, a practical experience of wood and natural paints that have been added to egg tempera, uh, mostly impressed, painted onto gesso boards, poplar boards, wooden boards, that uh, are used to express the mysteries of our faith. Uh, we welcome you to this exhibit. We invite you to come and, and experience the beautiful work not only my own work, but the work of all the students that have come together uh, to participate in the classes that we've offered these last 10 years. So this is an exciting opportunity for the people of Honolulu to uh, come and have a personal experience of iconography. And then hopefully you'll also have that opportunity to come and see how the icons are used in our church services, whether it's at our uh, Greek Catholic Ukrainian church 
uh, behind Holy Trinity at St. Sophia's or at one of the Orthodox churches uh, where they're all, all of these churches have beautiful icons that are a part of their worship, their iconostas, and uh, their general, the general devotion of the Orthodox and Byzantine Catholic communities. So thank you for your interest in our program, and we look forward to seeing you at the Gallery on the Poly. especially the Annunciation, and with the blessing of the Creator and Reverend Father Damien, I got into doing icons and all kinds of religious art. And this one is a special thing. I have been, I wanted to do it for many, many years. At last, I have the blessing to do that. And also, when I talk about it, my body chills the experience I went through.